All right, what's up, my friends? Welcome to Freshly Brewed Show. I build a deck, and we just freaking play it. Episode seventy-four, I think, but don't quote me on it. <laughs> build around the new alchemy card here, Cauldra Breaker, and uh, from Alchemy Ixalan, playing a Storic, of course. I don't like alchemy, but a Storic is a great format. And uh, part of a weird card here: six mana for a six-six trample. When ETPs exile all mountain cards from your library, when you do, it deals that much damage to a creature or planeswalker. And then when it dies, you put all the cards exiled with it onto the battlefield under their control, and then conjure four volcanic geysers into your deck. So, kind of a two uh, two way plan here. So, of course, obviously, it's playing this card straight up is fun. Uh, if it dies, get all mountains, put fireballs into our deck. That's pretty cool. But we have a plan B here. All right. So, pulling all the lands out of our deck means that Goblin Charbelcher is a one shot kill. So not not building around that uh, in the in the main deck because like that's a pretty big step, right? You resolve your six drop, but having access to that in a game where your opponent has a bunch of, bunch of crap and play or whatever is a pretty cool thing to have access to. So Karn just banned in uh, Pioneer, still legal in Historic is going to be our, our tool to that, and we're kind of playing kind of like a big red kind of deck here. We got some you know, mana ramp, Mind Stone, Cold Steel Heart, Chandra, obviously Great Wealth Ramp and uh, and removal, Great Planeswalker. Cough a little bit, Fable a little bit, so kind of a big red sort of plan with a little bit of a combo finish, which is nice as well, and a lot of kill spells and stuff like that too. So that's the deck, and let's get right into the game. So first, we have two new sponsors for uh, for December, which I'm pretty excited about, and the first one is right here. Bam, check this freaking thing out. This is by Serious Dice. This thing is hefty. This is a Black Lotus D20. It is... It is significant, and uh, the bottom's green, unfortunately, so you can't see that because it's going to get green screened out. Uh, but really, really cool. Have to, you can see the Lotus is in there, like in the actual die itself. Just actually stunning to look at. Really, really freaking cool. And uh, obviously, a great holiday gift. Check them out. Uh, SeriousDice.com. The link's in the chat. It'll be in the description of the YouTube video also. But this thing is hefty. It is awesome. It is a, a really unique, phenomenal gift uh, and looks really, really cool. Check it out, Serious Dice. And uh, big thanks for sponsoring us, of course. And uh, again, how big is it? Like this, see? Here it is. This, I, have pretty big, I have pretty big hands. So I would say, you probably kill somebody with this thing, honestly, if you just threw it at him. So <laughs> check it out. Serious Dice. I does not condone murder, but please check out their product. They're really cool. Let's get, uh, let's get right to the games. All right, let's rock and roll, chat. Come hang out with me. Look at this, perfect hand to keep. Bones playing Lurus, love it. Let's go. No Smuggler's Copter on, on Arena yet, unfortunately. Um, obviously, Unbanded Pioneer and Explore. Murders of Karlov Manor. Bah, gotcha! Alright, so Lunark Veteran, opponent Mulligan to 6. I feel like killing the Veteran's not that important. I'm just gonna say go. Let's see what the next play is, but... Oh, never mind. Oh, it's the Wild Guard Walk Walker deck. Alright, so... That's bad, because our Frostbite can't currently kill this, and if they have an Amelia, we just lose. Uh, we're just gonna kill this, yeah. So, this is the uh, Amelia Wild Growth Walker combo deck. Frostbite number two. Alright, well, we have a, a, a Frostbite online next turn, which is kinda cool, so... Play with the name Red, and just say, yeah. I can kill the Amelia. Yeah, but like, I wanna play a Minor Rock this turn. And not to leave mana up, so. Yeah, I gotta get that copper in here. Here is Luminous Phantom. And C Note Scout. It's time to explore. Alright, well, they are doing the thing, but that's fine. Now this is a 2-4, which is pretty annoying, actually, but. Alright, so you just got to go. I guess land Mindstone, Mindstone. What am I gonna do? I mean, Frostbite is for three now? No uh little signifier to denote that's kind of annoying, but. We just say go. And, uh, yeah. I mean, we can kill the Amelia if they play it, obviously. They have land company or something like that. They're going to assemble the team. This is a cool alchemy tutor. Two minute for search top of your library, put it in your hand and shuffle so they can get a little search here. Cenote. Listen, I can't say things, all right? You're saying I, I don't know what to tell you. It's Levi I, I just don't pronounce things right. I, I try, but I'm just not. It's not my forte. Tutor for a card. 
freaking wild dwarf walker you got mana confluence and forest i chose to play confluence over forest interesting um take a hit here got to crack his mind stone i suppose try and draw some action because obviously we're a little light on action here and here's amelia so no triggers yet this is ward three life we're just gonna draw a card first before you try and kill this so draw the mind stone all right there's chandra chandra school um we can chandra and minus and frostbite we lose the chandra but kill the amelia and the wild growth walker it's pretty it's pretty awesome actually so mm -mm -mm. play this blocker dwarf mine's actually really good just like sh play it straight up um let's cast this chandra and we're gonna mine they have the phantom too so we need to, need to do it in uh, the proper order but it just doesn't matter she can do a response so um so yeah we're gonna minus here four damage to wild growth walker and then we're gonna frostbite here in response target this Get out of here! Get off my plane. Play the life. They gain a life. No one cares. So they have a one-one, a one-one. They do have a Luris. Pretty annoying, but they can kill Chandra here, which is annoying. But obviously, we just got to, got to keep going. Got to keep moving on. Here's a Wild Growth Walker, and by Luris, it's pretty good. Honestly, they've got a pretty good draw here. All right, so pretty easy block, I think. And uh, Chandra dies. We need to draw something nice here. We draw a mountain. That's not nice, obviously. Not not the best, but that's okay. Um, Give me what I want. We're going to draw a card. Man, we suck. Sorry, folks. <laughs> uh, Mind Stone. I guess just draw a card again. How about another mountain? Somebody's playing a prank on me. All right, we got mountains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's Loris, and I think we're just dead. <laughs> just, uh, just playing mono red, a uh, little mountainy stuff, and they attack here. No blocks. Anger the gods? Nope, another mountain actually. Okay, well, um, hi, I'm Jim. Welcome to Freshly Brewed. Yeah, we stacked three mind stones too. Here's a scout. Alright, we're dead. So, if you're not familiar with the combo, once you explore, walker goes off, gain life, explore, walker goes off, etc, etc. And they make a... They do the combo thing. So, pretty obnoxious combo. Uh, legal and Pioneer and Historic. And, uh, not too hard to pull off either. But, yeah. So, I guess we drew, uh... I guess we drew a million mountains. Uh, let's bring in... Not too much to bring in here, actually. Amusingly enough, the Chandra doesn't even kill the, uh... Walker with Walker on the minus, but... I think we just stand pat. I mean, we're probably just playing a bunch of rule spells. You know, we should be okay here, but uh, we'll see. Kind of waiting to see if that combo is uh, is busted in Pioneer or not, because obviously the, all the focus was on the Appraiser combo, uh, and that got banned, but now the Amelia combo is also there too. So, all right, so on the play. Alright, we'll mulligan. That's a good hand, I guess. Alright, keep this. <sighs> left all our lands in the last game. Last game. Alright, so ship this bad boy. We got a good hand here. I mean, like, we have Fable, Breaker, possibly on turn uh, four-ish or something like that, so. Alright, so. Mountain, mountain, mountain. This is one of the downsides of playing all mountains, you know, is that you're, you're, you don't have any utility lands. But we do have some utility lands, so. Right, here's a Wild Guard Walker. If they have, like, Scout and Amelia, we just lose, but that's fine, I guess. All right, so we're going to play this in Fable. We have the Breaker next turn. That's kind of cool. This time, we got Fable, folks. And I think a lot of uh, what Historic and Pioneer are going to be is going to be some Copters and Fables, as long as they're legal. All right, they're going to find Authority of the Consoles? Why would they... Why would they want that? Eyes uh, and Amelia. And a land. More Mountains. We ship both here. Both mountains are gone, and we draw Frostbite and Anger of the Gods. Okay, that's pretty cool. So, we should attack and play the Breaker and kill this, I guess, right? Get our Breaker online. Now we have two good, two good removal spells also, so they block here. No blocks, actually. 
Breaker. So, it's funny though, we're going to exile all the lands in our deck and not draw any more lands, I guess. But, let's kill this. And then, um, it also has to die, so we can't, like, we can't, we can't um, Anger of the Gods and, like, Frostbite it or whatever. Here's Amelia. Like, they're not likely to... They're probably just cards that, like, it does need to die. And our opponents, you know, don't always want to kill our creatures or might have Exile removal too. So, our deck is now 29 cards, all spells. All gas. One Odawara. Yeah, exactly. One Odawara, one Leyline Binding. Uh -huh. It's all interesting. So, flip the Saga. Um... All cards exiled with it. <laughs> what a ridiculous card. Alright. Um, let's just attack, I guess. Yeah, maybe like turboing it out on turn three or four isn't a good idea because I'm drawing more lands, but we'll see what happens. As freshly proof, folks, we're just trying stuff out, you know? Obviously, uh, just trying out the new cards, seeing what plays, and uh, and going from there. So here's Cold Steel Heart, and uh where should I say go? Name red. And, uh, what's their play here? They're gonna end step. They're gonna destroy it for us. They're gonna... What? What's here for our opponent? Why would you do this? You ready? You ready? You ready? Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, no lands to find. No lands in my deck. Fail to find. They come in untapped, too. So we get four tokens. And all of these and a gate. And a frostbite up, too. Let's draw a card. Draw Chandra. All right. Uh, so there you go, I guess. So we have 17 snow-covered mountains untapped. Here's assemble the team. Sure. Valgut's not, not on Arena, unfortunately. There is no Valgut on Arena. Voldaire and Thrillseeker. There are better ways to sacrifice it, I think. Alright, so they tutor for a card. They assemble the team. Squad up. And, uh... I think they're just dead, but... We have... We have... So we also... We also we, we conjured four copies of... I don't know if the 15 tracks that. We conjured four fireballs into our deck, too. So that's kind of cool. Uh, untap. The next copy isn't so good, I guess, but... <clears throat> Alright, so... I mean, we're just gonna... I guess just cast this into the copy and attack them, right? So... There are no lands left! Um, we're not gonna pay the uh, ward. We'll decline. Just gotta copy it, though, and attack. So, what a weird card. It's like, a, it's like an over-the-top card, but, like, I don't even know if it's good or not, but... Uh, let's also just do this, right? Uh, wrong button. This, this they got. They got to fix this. The the mana ability has to be on the left, like it, like it should be. Mana ability on the left. We draw up stomp. Sure. I mean, they're super dead, right? We just attack and kill them. Attack treasure. Yes. Yeah, so maybe we want like some way. The thing is, once you add some way to sacrifice it too, now we're just like we're adding so many pieces, you know. And you get a mountain, and you get a mountain. Torch the tower? Yeah, I mean, that could play. Maybe Torch is better than, better than Frostbite. It's obviously worse against, like, three types of creatures, but they're going to block and just die. All right, so that was pretty cool. Obviously, they didn't need to besage you it. Like, it's funny because, like, I would think their deck would, like, never kill it because they're, like, a combo creature deck. So, like, it's kind of weird in that regard, but yeah. Um... Torch over Strangle. Yeah, I maybe mean, we can play, play some Torches. But Barbit is in, but again, like we're not playing any other cards. You can't just play a card that's only good with your combo. It needs to be good with other things, too. I mean, but Barbit doesn't do anything, so. All right, so game three. Thoughts on the Timeless format? It's cool, honestly. I think they should remove Alchemy as a format because there are too, too many formats, but I think Timeless is a good way to ha have a good, uh, have your cake and eat it, too, as far as, like, Putting fetch lands and powerful cards on the platform, but also having historic be a good format too, so. Alright, so sand's kinda bad, but we're gonna keep. Alright, so Lunark Veteran. 
We are good at drawing mountains. And they play Amelia. I'm gonna kill this in response. So no explore. No explore here. An explore. And they take one. I'll play timeless. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly yet, but we'll we'll figure it out. So still frostbite. Um, frostbite and Chandra. Not the best draw here, but it's it's fine, I guess. You know. All right. So they just say go. We draw stomp. Which I guess is also fine. Spurs to salvage. Sure. Root take away the format? I mean, sure, I guess. Just like so many formats, you know? Like, I think that having too many formats is a real problem. Uh, it introduces clutter and option paralysis. Um, veteran number two. Life gain doesn't matter too much here. Let's go buy Lurus, sure. The problem here is they can just cast Lurus and cast Amelia immediately, but I can't really stop that, so... Uh, Alright, so we're going to untap. Just going to play the Dwarven Mine. Dwarven Mine's been excellent. Just play Chandra. And we'll just probably plus. Just plus and deal two. Can't cast that one. Just take up. So as long as they don't combo us this turn. And they don't have like, an Amelia and a Wildworth Walker all at the same time. So, they play Lurs. They have a land for the Amelia. If they don't, they're freaking dead. Uh, Z, resub. Thanks so much. Here's an Amelia. That's going to explore a few times. It's pretty nasty, but... Uh, bin the veteran. Must be nice. Assemble the team. Okay. So, pretty easy block here. We get to Chandra, the Amelia, and then... Oh! Or... Or, or, uh, just anger the gods instead, just even better. So it's anger the gods, and then we'll add, I would like to play the breaker of a turn, honestly, but just got to anger the gods here. So anger the gods, exile stuff, and then I guess we just like plus the Chandra, exile top card first, we don't need the mana, so, we can't, we could, we could anger... We can't, yeah, we can't do multiple things, Mr. Just Anger. I mean, look, 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 look. Alright, so, steal damage. Here's Anger, and we'll stomp the uh, Amelia. Mama said stomp you out. Alright, so get that out of here. And, uh, looking pretty good here. We can cast the Breaker next turn and have Frostbite up. Assemble the team! Assemble your crew! After it was all over, he took us in the house of service. Yeah, you missed it, folks. They also, aside from everything else that happened this week, announced uh, the new cards from a new set. This week has been major ban announcement, new format announcement, new card release on Arena, and new preview release from or Murders of Car Karlov Manor or whatever. It has been a ridiculous week. Uh, I posted the Ben, ben Affleck meme of him just being, like, like dead inside, and uh, that's where we're at, honestly, so... Also, Rivals. To Rivals, I won that one, too. There's all our mountains. With Frostbite up, we say go. Yeah. Big ups. What's here for Mike? <clears throat> Mike started a new... Sh ah, shit. Uh, Mike started a news channel in uh, in our Discord, recapping all the daily news. I, I don't know how my Mike's going to possibly do that without being a full-time job, but... So, they have two veterans and two cards in hand. We just killed a walker, I think. Yeah, let's kill a walker. This is now the second walker we've killed. <clears throat> no, the first. Yeah. Here's innkeeper, sure. Phantom, sure. This is all fine. Wheezy. Did I exile exile one? I don't see it in exile. Alright, they uh, <clears throat> explore a Chord of Calling to the top. We draw Strangle. It's funny, we just want this thing to die, you know? Like, 
Um, let's attack, and then we'll just, like, kill some stuff. We could add the mana, and then... We'll just, we'll just Chandra, I guess, right? Actually, we can kill everything. We just, Let's attack. And then I just add red, red, Chandra, and then strangle my own cauldron. <laughs> this is a good first game. This is a good first match for Freshly Brewed here, folks. Here comes the breaker. All right. And uh, we're going to go red, red. We're going to play other Chandra. We're going to... They're probably just going to scoop, but... Kill everything. And then strangle our own breaker. Oh, I'm sure. I'm really sure. Whoa, there's all the land. <laughs> <clears throat> Dwarven Mines for days. There you go. Oh, I could have cast this too. Eh, whatever. I, whatever, it's fine. Alright, now what? We should, we should, we should have the ultimate here. They're, they're actually just dead like 10 ways till Sunday, but whatever. Uh, we'll just emblem. It's over when I say it's over. Yeah. No Fortunately, no, uh, no fireball for us, but... Oh, like I'm just like... Let's just seek. Gaming! Pocket tens versus King Jack. Thanks for the sub. Appreciate that. All right, let's play the Breaker. Deal five. Breaker, Breaker, one five. And uh, play the Breaker. No mountains left. Just uh, just the twenty five mountains I have in play. And we'll play the uh, the Bone Crusher Giant. And deal five. We'll play the Cold Steel Heart. And deal five. And they have a good card to court for here. And the court of calling X equals two. Two is the court of calling. It's working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They get an innkeeper. That's the best they can do. All right. Gotcha. <clears throat> Give it subs. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. All right. Sweet. We won. Gay. Blouses. Damn. We're on Just gonna play Freshly Brewed here against our Mythic number 28 opponent. Bring it on. Ah, crap. Alright, sure. What 10 you predict gets a makeover? I totally forgot about that, honestly. Um, I can go check. Alright, um, yeah. We got a mulligan, obviously. Unfortunately, it kind of stinks, but mulligan into a decent hand. Not a great hand. I'll play Timeless, yeah. All right, so I guess I can't keep bolt sixes, right? Let's do this. I'll be so sad they're playing uh, playing like blue light control. That's that's it's a coast, and I'm playing control. So, All right, I'm just uh, just chill. Oh, they're playing the artifact deck. Sure. Here's an emery, and they mill over ornithopter, foundry, foundry, esper sentinel. Sure. Pretty easy stamp. Nice card, huh? I hate this card. This card you banned in every format. Pioneer's not enough. Ban it more. I want it gone. Alright. Uh, some more artifact stuff. We're just going to stomp again. And uh, next turn's Karn and a token, which is cool. Karn will turn their lands off as well. And their drum off. Nah, they have a counter spell. Alright, so they definitely have uh, a Metallic Rebuke here. So, we should cast Bone Crusher, I guess, right? It's off really fast. Maybe, maybe, maybe they don't. But what else could be in their hand if they have two cards and didn't play something? You know, kind of thing? There's just good. Alright, sure. Listen, we'll take it. Alright, so not much to bring in here, unfortunately. Obviously, we have a, we have a card board. But, yeah, no Shadow Storms or anything like that. But obviously, our, our four main deck cards are pretty good. So, try and let it ride and see what happens. Yeah, I guess they were just flooded. But the only spell they could add that makes sense is Rebuke. So... Remember, folks, watching on YouTube, if you enjoy the show, please hit the like button. Support the content. It helps a ton. More than you could possibly know. All right, hit the like button. Support the channel. And if you like Freshly Brewed and want to see more of it, support it. Tell your friends I love the show. And it's, that does okay on YouTube and stuff. But I'd love to see it do better. Uh, a lot of folks say I love the show, and I like to see it do well. So hit the like button. Tell your friends. Share it. Support the content. And uh, I'll keep Freshly Brewing if you keep watching. All right, let's go. All right, so... Pretty fast game one there. Damn these one-landers. We have an anger though. 
kind of want to keep. Playing 26 lands on the draw with two looks and an anger and a mind stone, I'm keeping. I'm keeping. Does BTM do better on YouTube than Freshly Brewed? Not a fair comparison. Tapples are just it's on its own channel, so. Alright, draw. We draw the land! Bingo. Damn, we're good. You got the Karn, too, so. Sentinel. Annoying, but sure. Foundry, sure. Alright, so. Do we Mind Stone or do we Stomp? They draw a card either way, which sucks, obviously. Um, by Mind Stone, they possibly draw multiple cards, though. Tough call. We have no uh, no guaranteed fourth land either, so it's not like we're guaranteed to have Karn next turn. Also, killing this puts some down mana, too. I'm going to kill this. So, draw a card, whatever. Yeah, obviously, we wish we had Shatterstorm or Brotherhood's End in our sideboard, for sure, but... Again, Brotherhood's End kills our own creatures. Our, our own Planeswalkers, I mean, so... Alright, so they mill over, they can cast Thopter or Sentinel, but on Killvis we draw a lamb, which is great. Um, honestly, we're setting up for Anger, so we don't really care if they return a Thopter or a Sentinel. I guess we kind of do, right? We could Fable here, or we could just Anger the Emery. They also could have a Counterspell here, too. Um, Thopter would be a 4-4 four -four also, so that's true, yeah. So I guess we could have Anger here. I think they have a Counterspell, but I think we need to aim Anger also. Although, if playing Fable and saying go, and then not able to attack next turn, which kind of sucks, so. Yeah, pretty unhappy about this. Hmm. Three cards in hand. I play... play Opter. Wake a 4-4. Four, four. Obviously, Fabling before Angering is also kind of rough, too. Right, I'm just gonna ask this. Probably gonna counter anyway, so we'll see. Can also make a token, perhaps. Alright, sure. So rebuke that. Untap. That's bad for us. Um Letting Emery live was definitely not on my bingo card today. Yeah. All right. That's uh. That's a boom boom. So I think we're dead now. Draw a cold steel heart and no land. Yeah, we're just dead. Uh. All right. Yeah. I think we're going to game three here. Would I want a timeless anthology? I don't know. I'm kind of curious, like how deep they want to take timeless. Like, do they want to have like lotuses and moxes and stuff like that, or like they want it to be like a ridiculously powerful format? Like, what do they want exactly? I don't know. Um, I think differentiating Timeless from Historic will be a very important thing. Again, though, I do still think there are too many formats of Magic, so... Yeah, we're just super dead here. We have no, we have no comeback mechanic. Yeah, alright, let's go to the next game. Alright, that's fine. So, no problem. Go to game, go to game 3 on the play. You gotta kill Emery, can't let it live. Um, it's fine, I think. Yeah, I mean, I agree. I would love to see Pioneer on Arena before they add a new format. I think it's a big uh, point of contention for uh, a lot of people, but... Alright, so... On the play. Hand's good. Like a sand. All right, ship it. Let's go. All fountain ornithopter. Don't have the nuts here. Oh, it's a drama. Okay. Are oh, they? They have like a stone. They're not, they have. They have the stones here. There's no freaking foundry. No foundry. Emery. That is a pretty good turn one. All right. And they've got a foundry in the bin, so I got to kill this, obviously. I mean, we're going to stomp this. No, I'll just leave stomp up, actually. Kill this. 
Kill this. And untap. Otherwise, if I wait and try to stop it, then I can't kill all the thing on their turn. So I think we might want to get stable on curve too. So. Emery again. This time could possibly counter the Bone Crusher, which would suck, but. In the middle of her assist. Yeah, they're definitely countering this. Alright. This is a, a really, really good draw from our opponent. Uh, it's This is their turn two. They have six permanents in play, and they've already cast a counter spell also. We're in trouble. Oh, fuck, I played the wrong one. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jim. Welcome to Freshly Brewed. Well, that was the game. I think we're I think we were dead anyway, probably. But uh, that completely puts us dead. Once they have Emery a lot, Emery and Foundry both going, I think we're just stone dead. But now if I cast Karn, just dies. Uh, that sucks. That sucks. Uh, yeah. So we we we're gonna have Fable in play, and then we'd be playing Karn with a blocker too. Wow, and we we actually would add two block. Oh my god. All right, let's just, yeah. Uh, we totally, total, total throw. We would have had a, a token from the Dwarven Mine and this in play. They don't anyways. anyway, so it doesn't actually matter. But, all right, we're dead. All right, that's fine. Whatever. My bad. I mean, we, 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 their hand was perfect. We would have lost anyway, but um, just like double counter spell, perfect array of threats and lands. So, what are you going to do? These high mythic players want a freaking piece. They want some of this. All right, whatever. Bring it. We can keep this. Hand's great. Snap mulligans to five. Snap mulligans to four. No remorse. Snap mulligan to three. Go on. Keep mulliganing. What do you got here? Game. Blouses. All right. Uh, yeah, maybe a Leyline combo. I guess definitely a possibility. There's a, a combo deck based around playing a bunch of ley lines and then playing uh, something reality that destroys an artifact, creature, or enchantment and gives you a card that costs one less than it, and they only play Geist Saint Draft. So it's like a turn one Geist Saint Draft every game kind of deck. Um, so it's just like a, yeah, there's Mulligan. Yeah, so you Mulligan, do you have one land, a Ley Line, and the Fragment Reality, and just have turn one Geist, which is obviously insane, but. Very silly, yeah, right, on four cards. Yep, there you go. So, so they have turn one, uh, turn one Geist, which is gonna get us here, our hand's kinda slow. Yeah, we have a couple sweepers, but this is probably just it, honestly. Turn one, guys, Saint Draft is pretty good. You know, it's not bad. Definitely uh, a thing. Waka, waka. We draw Frostbite, obviously not good enough. Old Geist of Saint Draft, sweet card. I'm a big fan of this card. I think it's a really cool design. So we have uh, two copies of Anger of the Gods. <clears throat> What's my voice? What's going on? <clears throat> Gate. Uh, yeah, we just got... We're just dead next turn, so... We need to draw Anger of the Gods, and we need to... <clears throat> draw it next turn, have them not have interaction either. They could have a... Uh, slip out the back, too. Which they probably do, or Spell Pierce. Sorry, right, folks. They're gonna fragment reality my Mind Stone. Sure. We draw anger. Oh! oh, it's oh my God. Get the hell out of here! I was like, probably sacking it, but we was gonna think about it a little bit at least. Guess what I'm talking about? Get out of here at that. That all-in glass cannon bullshit on my TV show. What do you think this is, huh? What do you think this is? Alright, so look at the old stats here on untap.gg. Download it yourself for free. Track all your games just like this. Uh, it's a really, really weird card. We never actually drew a geyser. Um, and I, it, it like worked a few times, but like I don't know if it actually affected the outcome of the game. Um, you know, like, it's a really crazy card. I, I think having some sort of a stock outlet would probably be a good idea. 
Uh, people were saying Torch the Tower as the one mana removal spell of choice. Uh, as a way to kind of like have a removal spell, it's like just fine. That can also in, 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 incidentally sacrifice as well. Um, the uh, the Dwarven Mines were excellent. Um, I don't know. Like a really, this is a really weird card. Obviously, pulling all the lands out of your deck and then putting them into play is a really powerful ability. There's also like the caveat of like we could play some sort of like more combo-y finish with like a landfall, something or other. We were trying to uh, to uh, the Goblin Charbelcher, but like that might require just too many steps. That's obviously only one sideboard slot, so the opportunity cost is super low. Uh, but maybe if we have like a landfall thing, like Valakut Awakening, I don't know. Pretty fun card though. Pretty fun build around. And uh, I think for a first draft, we didn't do too bad, you know. So, more to come on stream, but YouTube folks love you. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts on what the best thing to do with this card is. It's a weird one. All right, let's go.